Well, smoking in public places is becoming more and more taboo these days, and Greater Victoria has been a leader in this, from restaurants to movie theaters, outside hospitals, doesn't matter where you are, puffing on a cigarette seems to net you a fine these days. But what about places of learning? Currently, students cannot light up within 10 meters of an open doorway or window at either campus of Camosun College, and it's about to get even stricter. A News reporter Aaron Glazier has more on the story new at 6. It is the one piece of sanity I have left in my life while a student. Students say it calms their nerves and helps them study, but soon smoking here may be outlawed. Camosun College is looking to set a precedent as the first post-secondary institution in the country to ban butts from its campus. If we have about 10,000 full-time students and another 5,000 part-time students, and they've been telling us that secondhand smoke is a real issue for them. Paying this money to come to school and my health is already at risk in other places. I shouldn't have to worry about it while I'm trying to learn as well. Right now, smokers have designated pits on campus and can still travel outside those boundaries. But come February 1st, they must stick to smoking within them, a regulation most students support as the campus moves towards a full ban in the future. When we're walking to class and I'm walking behind someone who's smoking, I'm taking in that secondhand smoke. And uh, we did a survey in May of 2009, and 86% of the students feel that we should be able to be in a, a, a smoke-free environment. And the Vancouver Island Health Authority says smoking and learning don't mix. The bottom line is if one out of two people who continue to smoke will die prematurely of that disease. So if you're going to be spending a good portion of your youth developing an exciting career, why do you want to cut it short by smoking? As far as the 20% of Camosun students who do smoke are concerned, the designated areas are good enough and pushing them off campus will only create further problems. And as far as a ban is concerned, if one is implemented, they plan to fight it. I'm going to write a letter first um, explaining the, you know, obviously we'll have like, you know, restrictions where we can smoke. I, I agree with that. You know, they're forcing the students off campus, but now we're, we're forced to smoke in front of, you know, people's houses. So, in, you know, it's, it's a catch-22. Camosun says out of courtesy to neighbours, it will look into installing trash cans where smokers congregate. But for now, the school says it is focused on the well-being of the majority of students on campus. In Saanich, Aaron Glazier, A News.